Paul Bakina. By the way, I'm training her shell. And I'm lucky to meet my friends together with the trainers one at a time. On our left side is the eldest female South American sea lion that we have. And she is the pretty yes. Wow, God fit that. Her name is Isis. Together with trainer April. Say hi. <laughs> Do you have any idea why are they called pink or feather pudding green mammals? Any idea? Do they have feathers? No. Well, let's ask them. Ladies, do you have feathers? The answer is no. It's actually because of their claw papers, which are shaped like a bird's wing. See those? The term pink pet will also be translated as pink pudding. Since their flippers do look somewhat like this. <laughs> In fact, they appear to be flying under water from place to place, right ladies? And you know, they often mistake it as silks because they look very much alike. But some differences between a silk and a silk lion is the fact that they have been very strong flippers. And they can also turn their back flippers, some big silks can not too. As a result, they can walk upright while on land. And that's a fine demonstration. How about round of applause for Isis and Ida? And guys, you know what? They have this long and flexible neck. How flexible? Well, check this out. So flexible, right? Their body is covered with a thick coat of short forest hair, and their whiskers help the sea lion's sense of touch. They contain their fibers, which make them sensitive. Wow, nice <laughs> one! <laughs> hey, they can also use their whiskers to aid in navigation or to detect vibrations from rain in the water. And their small external ears give them a good sense of hearing both above and below the water surface. Sea lions like any marine mammals can see both well above in under water. They have a keen nice sight, but no color vision. In the wild, they inhabit waters close to shores, not rocky cliffs with tidewalls, and have a preference for rocky beaches. They have excellent climbing abilities, which can easily scale rocky cliffs. Check this out. Uh, now let's talk about their swimming abilities and let's start with Aira, the cutest. Sea lions are generally cruise around 11 miles per hour using the rowing movements of their front flippers. While well, their back flippers are stretched out behind their bodies, functioning as ladders or steering. And that is their normal swim. Nice and easy. Thank you so much, Ida and Trainer Mikey. But when chasing their prey or escaping from predators, they can achieve a burst block to ready? 25 miles per hour! Wow, look at that. That is so fast. Come on, guys, another round of blocks for Isis, the pretty Good job, girl. And another one. She's at before it. Now, here's an interesting story about our sea lions. Did you know that the U.S. Navy has trained a few of them to take part of their special operations? Yep, that's right. They're able to hold their breath for up to 20 minutes, and they can dive hundreds of feet. Abilities that even the best Navy diver would be used of. And since they cannot be detected by radar underwater, you are so to recognize the boy underwater night. <laughs> Ladies, are you ready? Well, that's soon. Now let's march. 
Ready, guys? Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, two. This time, could you please join our sea lines in a salute? In a count of three, everybody please salute and let's make this one loud. People in the crowd, are you ready? Come on, guys, so I can hear you. Are you ready? Sea lions are also used to search and recover equipment from the water. But first, the race. Go ahead and get the race, ladies. And they got it. A round of applause for Isis and Ida. Great job, ladies. And another one, they ask me for it. Yeah. Okay. Trainer April, Ayra, and Trainer Mikey. 
and all of us here at the Aquatica and Manila Ocean Park, we would like to thank everyone for hosting us today. We hope you all enjoy and visit us again soon. So take care and have a nice day. Say goodbye to our friends. Bye.